Now, there are some controversies. There have been subsequent trials that have not necessarily shown the same magnitude of benefit, and I'm certainly not going to get into details, but this is a follow-up trial which didn't seem to look as impressive. And what physicians do at that point is they bring out their microscopes and they dissect trials down to the minuscule little properties to try and explain these things. But I think one of the reasons why people were concerned is because it's not a drug without side effects. So for a year, you have fever and flu-like symptoms, quite severe fatigue, and muscular aches. In addition to a variety of other problems, depression rarely, but it can happen, liver toxicity, anemia, and rashes. Um, so, but, nonetheless, for now, and probably the foreseeable future, it remains the only drug that we know for patients who've had surgery for their melanoma that improves their chance of surviving. And the magnitude of benefit is somewhere between five and 10%. The treatment does last for one year, and it's a tough year, as I don't know if any of you have gone through it, but it's a challenge to get patients through the entire year of treatment, but it can be done. And much like Coley's toxin, um, you know, I think it, it was, it's the next advancement of immunotherapy, and it will probably still have a role in the future, but I think we're also going to be looking to other medications too.